Hello, welcome back. Today I would like to share you 10 more amazing jailbreak tweaks that you should use on iOS 14 up to 14.4.1. Now um, let's move on to the first one. It is a tweak that allows you to view a battery percentage by simply hit on the status bar. Now if I want to view my battery percentage, I can simply hit on the status bar and you can see my current battery level. So um, it does work in app as well. For example, if I go to the app store, and I can just simply um, hit on the status bar here to view my battery percentage. The next one we have to fix for Springboard. So um, you can see my icon here, it is a bit transparent. But if I, um, I have activity on my Springboard, you can see the icon will be back and the label will be um, available here. So um, you can see, um, you can customize the tweak in setting. Now on setting, you can go to these tweaks. So where you can dim the icon and the label, or you can um, hide the label completely, and you can set the delay time as well. Move on to center title. This one it will move the title to the middle of the screen, and you can see even like the subtitle here, they are uh, they are all in center. Let me go into general. So um, it only applies to the first page. So um, the second one it doesn't. But you get an idea how this tweak uh, will work. The next one you may notice the button on the top right where you can enable dark mode or you can go to safe mode and you can even respring your phone uh, by simply hit on the button on the top right so um, it is accessible and it is much easier and with this one you can also change the button as well so um, you can like go to respring first flashlight or dark mode so let me select on this one now um, I can also um, customize the background and even like um, the button color, but I'm um, just leave it as default. Now I'm gonna respring my phone to apply. After respring, we have a new button here where you can enable the flashlight. So um, it is just um, as simple as that. And you can just hit on it to disable a flashlight. This tweak is very useful. You can close all of the apps um, at one from multitasking. So now when I go back into multitasking, you're gonna notice the button at the bottom. So, um, or you can just find down here to close all of the app. But um, if you want to close only one app, for example, um, I can jump to the app store here. Now let's go back to multitasking. I can manually click on this button to close only one apps. The next one, we have the tweak for music app. So um, now if you go to reachability on your phone, so let me enable reachability. So you can see the artwork and you can see the music on the top here. So um, these tweaks will bring uh, the music artwork into reachability. So whenever you play your music from music app and stuff like that. And let me change the um, radio station. So let's go to this one. Now let me go back into reachability. So you can see we have got um, the new artwork here. Now with these tweaks, it will change the color on your status bar based on the app icon. Let me go back to um, App Store and you can see uh, we have got like the light blue home bar or if I go into health apps, you can see the home bar color has also changed. So it is adapted to the app icon. Now we have today's shortcut uh, where you can like go to today view much faster. You don't have to swipe all the way here. So all you have to do, click on, click from the app icon here. So when I click on the icon, you can see it just go into like um, the today view straight away. So um, it is a quick way to access to today view. Lastly, we have Lisa. It is an amazing tweak for your lock screen where you can have an amazing notification. So now let me test the notification for you. And you can see we have got a notification here and we it is black out the lock screen wallpaper. So it gives you an amazing um, notification style. So lastly, thank for watching and if you want to get this wallpaper and the themes, you can find from the link in my video description. And then we'll see you guys in the next one.